Oh, hello there. Yes, well, what a difference a day makes. Just 24 little hours. Yes, indeed. Not not those standard length or big ones, presumably. Anyway, yes, except, of course, um, does weekend start on Friday? TGI is, well, they used to say because apparently it's gone bust and there will be no more of those kind of honey-glazed bits of meat stuff weirdness anyway yes so we'll have to say tgs presumably what with those evangelicals being in the ascendancy in the states so um plenty of freezing cold pious pity for sundays i would imagine oh yes anyway we're starting to see the shape obviously of that glorious evangelical future in the states and one number one on the list inevitably is tax cuts hooray because of course there is nothing else that makes the economy work other than tax cuts unless of course it's just simply Oh no, tax cuts is handing money to billionaires, isn't it? Sorry, I was going to say that. Yes. You see, I mean, how on earth, for example, is Elon Musk going to be motivated unless you give him a tax cut? Or indeed the other billionaires that it's been reported that, that uh, tr uh, Trump is going to be working with. Because obviously they are the good billionaires, not the bad billionaires. They're not the bad billionaires running things because they don't know how to run anything. It's only they're successful billionaires. Um yeah, I'm not going to sort of like linger with that because obviously it doesn't make any sense. But there again, uh, neoliberal economics just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So um, anyway, tax cuts it'll be. And of course, that'll add trillions upon trillions upon trillions to the US national debt, which is always a very bad thing under the Democrats, but magically ceases to be a thing whatsoever under Republicans. So um, anyway, the way they're obviously going to deal with that is by cutting out things that aren't really needed in the States like health care and um, any form of social security net whatsoever which is obviously a good thing because there's nothing more incentivizing than extreme poverty for well people that aren't billionaires see the way that works no i don't and no one else does either but apparently the british commentary and the us in commentary are perfectly happy with it because they are, are heavily involved in the business of completely ignoring any form of reality so for example in this country all of those people who were very very heavily invested in the notion of sovereignty in terms of brexit are now deciding that it'd be a very, very good idea to do exactly what the Americans say and kowtow enormously to them, naturally. So you can expect an awful lot of our right-wing commentators to, number one, carry on saying this right the way up until January, and then after January, when things don't take a very good turn for the worst in terms of, well, all that trade we were missing out on, America is our number one, basically our number one um, soft and hard export market. So um, that might walk down, go down the swanee because I don't believe that that nice Mr. Trump is actually that nice and will actually care at all about the special relationship. So presumably we'll have to just invite him to see the king every third week just to make sure that we're groveling enough to show our particular sovereignty. Oh yes, because... That will be the nature of things. And when everything goes wrong, of course, all of those people currently cheering on Trump will carry on cheering on, cheering on Trump because obviously we can just ignore all the things that have gone wrong. A bit like Brexit. We can just pretend that everything is absolutely fine. So when enormously bad news comes our way from the States, it won't be enormously bad news. We just won't talk about it. Hooray! Yeah, I was thinking that um, <laughs> just yesterday, this whole notion of the future and these people that will tell us that the economics of the future will be so much better. So we're like, yes, I know Jacob rees didn't actually say that the benefits of Brexit will come in 50 years time, but he essentially was saying it's long term. So let's be generous and say it's 40 years, but I will be dead. Any thing like that which suggests that i need to make pain and suffering now no jam today only jam tomorrow and um basically i'll have some sort of reward after i'm dead is effectively a religion and of course that's what we're into at the moment except right now i think we're on the cusp of nobody particularly expecting the inquisition except of course i really do i'm really expecting the inquisition pretty much quite early on in the new year. There's lots of baying voices out there that think they sniff blood. And 
they will be shouting enormously for it. And we know it's going to be the usual targets. They'll come for the very soft targets, you know, all those idiotic trans people who don't exist magically at the same time. Then it'll be the gays, then it'll be women, and then it'll be the communists. There you go. And um, unfortunately for those people that are Jewish, that won't really stop anywhere soon. Because if you think it's anti-Semitic and various football fans and stuff is pretty anti-Semitic, you haven't seen nothing from the right. Because when it comes down to it, there's nothing more anti-Semitic than a fascist. Oh yes, they're called Nazis. Those are the ones. Yes. So anyway, as ever, mm, TGI and all that. Well, no, not TGI. Uh, TGS. And uh, yes, enjoy your weekend whilst you can. Won't be long now. Mm.